So here we are in Tel Aviv, Israel. I know I'm very excited to be here. We are working with Eternal Struggle. And Brian Mitz Daniels is producing, drawing on all his experience from his years in Madball and Scarhead. Two Madsen is going to be mixing it. Uh, we're all very excited. Whenever I produce a band, I'm trying to put my knowledge and my experience from everything I've done in music, from every band I've been in, from every session I sat in on. You know, I worked in a recording studio when I was 19 years old. I've been around this industry for more of my life than I haven't. My strength is my experience in music and recording and the creative process of creating music in the studio. A lot of times people mistake it and like, oh, you're producing now, like, cool, you're recording bands? Like, no, I'm not, I can engineer, but that's not what I'm here for. There's better engineers than me. I'm here to bring my music experience, my music knowledge, and my history of recording records with bands, for bands, playing on them, you know, the whole, the whole package. We think it's the biggest moment as our lives as individual mu musician and in as a band, we've been discussing with Mitz Madball from exactly last year. Like, it's, I think it's exactly a year since we started discussing together. And at the time, we were thinking about making a small record, stand out a little bit and search ourselves or whatever. And he told us that he's willing to produce us a full album. And we were like, fuck, we need to write a lot of music. So for the past year, we didn't do very much shows and we were only concentrating in writing this album that we are recording today. So the band is only about the album right now and Mitz is here and started tracking drums today. Really excited about this record. I really hope people love it, not just in the local scene, like everywhere. We're gonna work very hard for this record to go like, you know, everywhere we can. Hopefully with a big label or record deal or or even without. I hope it will uh, open a lot of doors for us and for the Israeli scene as well. This is the first full record these guys are going to release. They've put out single here and there or an EP, but this is their first album. And I think whenever a band that's been around for a while, these guys have been around for some years now, whenever you get their first record, it's all that energy built up into that moment. Like, you know, like they say you, you have your entire life to write and prepare your first record. And then the hard thing is to follow that up. Well, this is the first thing from these guys. I think it's gonna really blow the doors off. We are together for a few years. Uh, we found the core, the friends, not only as play music players, also as friends, as brothers. We are fucking one unique brotherhood. Well, my hopes are that the album will reach, you know, uh, big crowds in Europe and in the US and get signed by a label and we really hope so. I really hope that he will bring something new to the metal world and the hardcore world. That's really important for me. We expect so much from this album. We really feel that we've created something really unique here and working with Mitz, working with Stone, it's like crazy privilege we, that we don't understand yet and I'll probably will be able to just understand what the fuck happened here only in within few months. I think this is a great undiscovered band. I really want to see the world find out about this band. I think they're awesome. I think that they're just waiting to break. And I don't see any reason why they're not going to move up and into the major circle of hardcore and metal in Europe, in the US, in Japan, in Australia, in South America. This is a band that I think all those markets would love. Speed of the God, the Try to protect, my lips and shine, by my 